Are you afraid to fight me yourself, you cowardly snake? <laughs> Guess he didn't see that coming. That ice arrow came in clutch, dude. Had about enough of you and your eyebrow. Who wrote this, a two-year-old? <laughs> oh, don't give me that smug face, Ben Affleck. Where's my real ending here? That right there was freaking luck. His dad's his weakness right there. Shiku Haruka to the face. Oh, go! go, baby. Woo! <laughs> Happy New Year, everybody. Welcome back to the Persona 5 Royal Playthrough. I am your host, of course, Mr. Espinosa X. And in the last episode, we infiltrated Okumura's palace and have secured a route to his treasure, yes. Now, in today's episode, it's time to send out the calling card and face off against, possibly face off against Okumura. Knowing how these things go, we might have to face off against the palace ruler and everything like that. That's definitely a guarantee. So let's go ahead and make some infiltration tools while we're at it and everything like that. So yeah, and I do want to apologize for not uploading anything as of anything Persona 5 related and everything like that. Um, yeah, there's um, a couple things that actually did happen, but oh, oh, hello, this is Shady Commodities Tanaka, I repeat, I'm Shady Commodities Tanaka. Here we sell wonderful and rare items that are not circulated around the, uh, the stores. Curious about something? We've got access. You want something? We've got access. What the heck? It's just when on the site automatically. Was it configured to do that? Shady commodity. So it's an online shopping site? Either way, it's certainly gotten my attention. Let's check it out when you have the chance. But pretty much Shady Commodities is pretty much like a um, an online store in the dark web and everything like that. Pretty much has items that are not pretty much sold at any stores. It's pretty much um, the uh, items where you pretty much attack that have the different elements and everything, like the mazel top that pretty much deal 50 damage and every, uh, 50 fire damage and everything like that. It's pretty much like that and stuff, so yeah. But anyway, yeah, I do want to apologize, everybody. Um, haven't really been uploading anything as of late related to Persona 5 or any new episode of Persona 5. Um, couple things that happen pretty much uh to make a long story short because i know we don't have much time uh because we gotta get ourselves ready for pretty much to rule the palace and everything so before you send out any type of calling card make sure you get yourself prepared and everything so yeah um let's go ahead and buy some stuff thanks for inviting me no oh, no problem oh. One here? It apparently seems so. Uh, you've got them all beat. I see. <laughs> Actually, she's very eager to do this. Discuss? You need something? Mm -hmm. What's the situation? I've been thinking. I want to be more helpful to the Phantom Thieves. So I came up with a new approach to fighting in hopes of making it a regular strategy in our battles. But I need okay. your help to make it happen, Monachan. <laughs> oh, me, eh? Well, if you need me, then who am I to turn you down? Thank you. So, I'll get right to it. What I'm thinking is... And that's how we finish. Hmm, okay. Well, I do like that idea. The stuff you come up with honestly scares me. <laughs> it's absolutely hey, we need that type of thing when we're doing this. Not another word. I'll do it. You deserve only the grandest of performances. Great. Thank you, Mona-chan. I wonder if the star will grant us our wish. Uh, I don't know. Oh, and you know what? Your wish has been granted. We have now... Got in Morgana's and Haru's showtime. Just you wait, leader. I'll show you my best. Definitely. Oh yeah. I nearly forgot because of how good Haru is at fighting. But she's new to the team, right? Shouldn't we do what we did for Yusuke and Makoto? Ah, 
You mean the Phantom Thief basic training. There's much we need to teach her. Please do. Well, someone's excited. Then again, I already told her the gist of things. What other stuff should we talk about? Oh, about how we defeated my fiancé in there. Will that have any effect on my father? Nope. They did something similar in my palace, but I'm perfectly fine. Uh, is that so? But man, that cognitive person stuff is crazy. He was so similar that even Haru couldn't tell. That might have just been a coincidence. Usually, cognitive people look totally different. The version of me in Kamoshida's castle was mm -hmm. terrible. Uh, and the version of me at the museum was a painting, not even a person. Now that you mention it, why isn't there a cognitive version of me? Is it somewhere in there? Well, I could imagine a couple of reasons why we haven't seen it, but I don't think you'd like them. <clears throat> yeah. Come on, don't think about that dark stuff. Anyways, if a dude's cognition can change the scenery or even the people in the palace, couldn't you use that to make a dream world filled with places and people you love? Man, palaces are super promising. My greatest hopes and dreams might still come true. Well, that's kind of impossible this time. <laughs> but maybe we should try in the future. Uh, don't, don't be ridiculous. <laughs> 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 if Haru followed that conversation, there's nothing else we need to teach her. All right, before we send out any calling card, make sure you're at least like level. F I want to say probably 40. So you could even push to 50 um, and everything. But I, I do recommend at least level 47 and everything like that. Make sure you have pretty much. Uh, bought some stuff from the airsoft shop or bought some stuff from uh, Takemi and everything right, like that this. in terms of like medical stuff and everything like that. Make sure you prepare beforehand. But anyway, let's go ahead and send out this calling card. We will entrust this to you, Haru. Okay. I placed this in my father's study and the treasure will appear, correct? Mm -hmm. If he notices the calling card, then yes. Are you afraid of doing this to your own father? To be honest... A little. Try to recall your anger. It will guide you in the right direction. So we're carrying out this plan tomorrow? Yep, that's right. All right. No staying up late tonight then. We can yeah. <laughs> all we want, but we only get one shot at this. Everyone, I'm counting on you. Oh no, we we definitely got this, but yeah. But anyway, um, I do definitely do recommend at least making I one thing I do re actually do recommend before I even go to Kumaras and everything like that is make some hypnomist um, and everything. You'll see why. But anyway, um, yeah, because I haven't really uploaded any episodes of Persona 5 Royal. Uh, two things uh me and my whole family got sick like we literally got around like christmas time we all had the flu and everything like that and stuff we're all better now and everything um another thing too is um i guess one time i was streaming and i had my son next to me and everything like that he pulled the cord uh to my microphone so hard that the uh that the uh, the USB thing came off of my microphone and everything like that. Like he pulled out, he pulled the cord so hard that the whole thing just came out and it pretty much broke like the uh, the USB uh, the plug port of my microphone. Not the USB port, the like the thing, the other end of the uh, uh, the other the other end, pretty much, and everything like that. And pretty much the whole thing came off and. I tried to see if it still worked, it didn't, so I pretty much had to buy a new microphone. Still, same thing, Blue Yeti microphone and everything like that and stuff. So, yeah, so the, pretty much the Kirby stuff was recorded beforehand. I was trying to, I was trying to, um, I was trying to, uh, I, I was going to upload those, like, as a New Year's, uh, you know, type playthrough and everything like that. But I was like, you know what, I'll just upload it now. Just to get it out of the way, just to kind of like, you know, have some variety besides Resident Evil 6 
and everything like that. So yeah, so apologies, but we're back um, and everything like that. So yeah, um, and stuff. <coughs> I still have a bit of a cough um, and everything, but it's all right. But yeah, we're back anyway. So yeah, but anyway, um, these are all the battle stuff. Yeah. So what I definitely do recommend is grabbing some hypno mist because we're gonna need it for much much later and everything like that yeah. um, once we're at the palace and you'll kind of see why and everything so yeah we're gonna go ahead and make all six of them yes. and everything because yeah. I mean I don't really we don't really need any lock picks since we have the perma lock and everything like that so yeah but anyway yep it is time to send out the calling card and face and get this treasure Sakuni Kazu Okumura, the great profiteering sinner of greed. Your success and global fame exists due to the tyranny you reign over your employees. Thus, we have decided to make you confess all your crimes with your own mouth. Hm. From the Phantom Thieves. I must take care of this before it becomes a problem. I've received a calling card from the Phantom Thieves. I need you to send it over to the police. Don't make me repeat myself. Give it to the police. That's an order. These scoundrels have threatened me. Aren't the police supposed to side with law-abiding citizens? I will not fail. <coughs> this matter is urgent. Take care of it at once. I need to let everyone know about this. Man, a lot of people are talking still about Okumura. Well, I wonder how people are going to react in a couple days when he, when he has a change of heart and everything like that. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, I was listening. Central Europe. This is it. Way to go. Nice going. You already know. Definitely, and we'll definitely do that today. Wait, he even figured out when we're gonna do it? This is different from normal. He has some nerve delivering the calling card to the police himself. Either he's certain his heart won't be changed, or he's colluded with the police from the beginning. As strange as it is for me to say, I could see that being the case. Oh, the comments are coming in hot. Look! Take him down, Phantom Thieves. I don't care what the Phantom Thieves do as long as they show up, haha. -ha. Just do it quick, lol. That is just weird. Want. At this point, all they care about is seeing those in power beg for forgiveness. Like the stuff that they're saying, See, too. So this isn't a game. It means Definitely the isn't. Been reversed. It's, just, it's really weird. To be seen purely hmm. As entertainment. But we gotta do this! We can't just drop everything now! Considering the existence of the palace, his desires are indeed distorted. In a sense, the earlier we pull the root, the better. And given the issue concerning Haru's fiancé, we don't have another choice in the matter. If we don't, then everything we've been doing up until now would just be for nothing. 
I believe this is best too. After hearing my father speak, I saw no remorse in him. Plus, if we don't, Haru will just be sold off, and we don't want that to happen either. So we gotta do this, no matter what. We already send out the calling card, so there's no going back. We most definitely can't. Mm-hmm. And we already sent the calling card after all. Let's do this like we always do. And steal his palace's treasure. Let's do it, guys. Come on. We the Phantom Thieves. We're gonna freaking steal his heart. Alrighty, y'all. It is time. It is time. To steal that treasure. Yeah, buddy. Again, make sure all your party members are at least level 47. Uh, make sure you get everything, you know, all your equipment ready and everything. Make sure your weapons are all up to date. Um, have a lot of good damage and pretty much anything, you know, that'll help you out and everything and stuff. But anyway, let's go ahead and steal that treasure and stuff. So, yes, let's go ahead and do this. Huh? A UFO? After retrieval of the main core, the launch sequence will commence. The US the SS Utopia? Project Escape to Utopia? So this is what that was about um. father did he say did it's so even the company is all a stepping stone for him he will discard this place for his utopia wait up if he's if he gets out of here we're not going to be able to make him tell what it, you're right we gotta hurry i think we can go further down this yeah all right let's go ahead and do this Ooh, shiny. That's, That's the treasure. What? Emergency launch sequence will soon be activated. Certain areas may be shut off or destroyed. The, whoa. Emergency launch sequence will soon be activated. All personnel is advised to evacuate immediately to a safe area of the facility. In the world? gotta book it we gotta go freaking no time we we have a time limit too and everything we gotta go we gotta go inside and everything yep we gotta go guys we gotta go oh shoot freaking enemies oh wrong button this is why i meant about using hypno mist because we're gonna be these people are these shadows are gonna be out on our way uh in our way and everything like that but we cannot face them at all because if we do It'll risk freaking wasting SP and everything like that and everything. We don't want that because we got to face off against Akumara and everything like that. So, yeah. But there's going to be some little chests left behind and everything like that. Um, I mean, if you have time, yeah, definitely go for it and everything. Dude, is this for real? Avoiding unnecessary battle would probably be for the best. Let's retreat and come up with a different strategy. No way. We ain't got time for that. We gotta blow through them. Are you even thinking? If we use up all our energy now, we may as well toss our entire plan. Wait. Hold on, guys. Calm down. Joker. Joker. You make the call, Joker. I got back. I got your back at either way. We're gonna... Guys, calm down. I got this. Bam! Hypno miss. They're all asleep. Let's go. Let's go. You gotta go. You gotta go, guys. Whoop. 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 Let's go. 
All right, let's go ahead and go. Wait, where's the little? Oh, here we go. <laughs> I was like, where's the control panel? <laughs> I was like, damn that Akumara. <laughs> he freaking took out the damn control panel and everything. <laughs> we, we still got time. We got to go ahead and get this chest and everything. Yeah, there's just pretty much there, there are actually some useful items and everything like that. I do rec I definitely do recommend getting it and stuff. Hey, wait up. You're taking the there there's no escape now. There. You're taking that treasure. Well, looks like we caught up to you, Mr. CEO. I I'm sorry. I've had a change of heart. I'll prove it. Father. Well, that was easy. You were always so agreeable. Whether it was in school or after, you only ever did as I said. You've become so admirable. What's gotten into him? Ah, uh, yes. Do you remember, Holly? You cried your eyes out when my work kept me from attending your first sports day. It was then that you stopped talking back to me. Honestly, you had me worried. Still, you stood up against me and became an independent young woman. Nothing could make a father happier than seeing that. You still remember something that happened so long ago? Back then, you poured your heart into making delicious food. You wanted to bring joy to others. Why did you change? Forgive me, Haru. But I would never last if my treasure was stolen. Please, don't do it. I'm begging you. Hmm. Father, let's... Let's end it here. Ah, Haru. You foolish girl. Yep, I knew it. Definitely wasn't going to be that easy. Ah, oh, shit. We are trapped. Betraying others. That is our family motto. The cold reality of kicking people down is part of business. Virtues and sentiments are for losers. What happiness can be found in acting with justice but losing the battle? What happiness can be found through profit gained by crushing the hearts of others? Better that than failing. I'd much rather destroy others than wallow in the misery of debt. Regardless, I shall soon set sail into the political realm, to the upper echelon of the world, to Utopia. My name shall be etched in the annals of history. This Make guy decision, is Holly. insane. If you cast them away, I'll let you join me on this ship. Stay and you will be incinerated along with this entire base. Now then, what is your choice? You fool. Noir! Oh, shoot. What about you, boy? Don't you want to get out of here alive? Want to board my ship? You're fighting against the others, are you not? Huh. So you were spying on us. You'll gain nothing by staying with them. That's what you believe, isn't it? You are absolutely right. Sell them out. Cut them off for your own personal gain. I'll even give you the switch once we take off. So, did we have a deal? I'll give you ten seconds. Time is money after all. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> Don't take me for such a fool. Everything's gains and losses for you, isn't it? I pity you, Mr. CEO. You lived with Haru for 17 years and you still haven't realized? In this world, there are tons of things that money and fame can't buy. What point would there be in only saving myself? <laughs> Nobody could replace these guys, period. You know what that means? Your offer was a no-go from the start! Ho <laughs> ho! Mona, you sly cat. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Alright, time to finish this. Father. 
know where to run, Okumura. You will try. Very well, then. Bring it. You little. You won't get out alive. Alrighty, y'all. It's time to face off against Shadow Okumura. Here we go. And. It's time you man. Um. <laughs> yeah. Oof. This one is a challenging one. I will say, uh, because we don't directly face off against Okumura, he doesn't change into like some special form, like the uh, like the previous palace rulers have before and everything like that. Instead, he sends out his goons um, and everything. So yeah, and here's pretty much the me. Why 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 do I gotta you know why 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 me? <laughs> but anyway. Um, so pretty much you got to attack all of them at once. You can't eliminate one shadow, one well run robot and everything like that. And yeah, you can't eliminate one robot. You got to eliminate all of them at the same time and everything like that. That's why I recommend at least having um, your moves where you can pretty much attack all of them all at once and everything like that and stuff because if you attack one, He's just gonna send out another backup and everything like that. Yeah, it's pretty much like <coughs> the company will replace you uh, no matter what happens to you and everything like that and stuff. Um, there's a couple things uh, you could do. You could do this. Oh, what what the heck? Well, I guess we got our answer for a shadow version. Damn, that's what he thinks of his own daughter, dude. That is insane. She's even a uh, damn. Yeah. You shouldn't have underestimated the strength of my company. Employees, fall in line. Employees, to me. All right, here comes the other two. Here comes another one. Another uh, group. More manpower. That is the strength of my company. Happiness based on the sacrifices of others isn't true happiness. All right. But anyway, um, there's... Probably a couple ways you could do this. You could either do this like an, an easy way or a hard way and everything like that um, and stuff. So you could pretty much set the game to the hardest difficulty and everything like that. And it'll pretty much double the damage and everything um, and stuff. Or you could pretty much do it like, you know, the simple way is just pretty much what I'm doing right now. But there is actually an easier way to pretty much do this and everything like that. If you have the DLC personas, there is a certain persona named uh, Insanagi Okumura. Uh, uh, Insanagi. Oh, uh, gee, God damn it! I, 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 ugh, I always have a hard time pronouncing this thing and everything like that um, and stuff. But it's pretty much. Like, hold on, we're about to pull it up right now and stuff. Um, you know, let's go show it and show it off right now. Now that we are here, um, is this one. It's an Agi no Okami Picaro. And, yeah, level 96. This persona has this move called Myriad Truths. And look at that. Just like nothing. Like nothing at all. Look at that. That freaking eliminated them that quick. This persona is so freaking busted, dude. Like you could pretty much go through this. You could pretty much go through. The, if you have this uh, persona, like it doesn't matter what level you are too. You could be like right now I'm level 47. We picked, we pretty much got the, it's a DLC persona. You could pretty much get all the powerful DLC personas in your party and everything. You could pretty much like go through this whole game that fast that easy and everything like that and stuff um and and everything like i didn't want to i didn't want it to resort that way and everything but i just pretty much wanted to show it off and everything like that and stuff but yeah um actually well i think we do have somebody that knows 
light moves. Um, we're really, not, I'm really not trying to use uh, Intanagi Okami Picaro. Yeah, there you go. They're, they are weakness to light moves. I do believe they're also weakness to wind as well. Um, but yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> that persona is so busted. Um, you could, you know, it's a DLC persona. You could get all the powerful DLC personas in your party early on in the game and everything like that and stuff. Um, <coughs> and everything like that, including that one. And you'll get through this whole freaking palace. Super, super freaking quick, dude. Like, it is insane. Like, that's pretty much the, the easy way <clears throat> uh, to get through this whole game and everything. I, I'm not, I'm, I'm probably only going to be doing it for this one. I'm really not trying to use uh, Insanagi Okami Picaro um, throughout the whole playthrough and everything. Like, I mean, you guys are like thinking to yourself, like, oh man, he's one of those. He's using that busted ass persona and everything like that like nah trust me i'm just one that kind of show off like the couple ways you can pretty much go through this uh, ba uh boss battle and everything like that and look at that so pretty much he's gave the robot a quota to pretty much eliminate us and everything like that if not then pretty much he'll explode on the next turn so we can't let that happen so we got to stop him and everything so we got to stop this robot um from even exploding at all and everything like that so yeah so let's go ahead and use shiny arrows and everything and nice that pretty much did it so now we got a pretty much um they'll send out the chief directors the chief director himself and everything so yeah and chief directors yeah they're the really medium big dudes and everything like that trust me it, it gets even it gets pretty more it gets even more challenging than it already is and everything like that so yeah and yeah but yeah, that pretty much is, you know, the couple strategies you could go with um, when dealing, when pretty much facing off against this boss battle and everything like that and stuff. So yeah, again, Okumura doesn't even change to another form or anything like that. He sends out his goons to pretty much do his bidding and everything. And uh, yeah, <laughs> like this, I, I honestly, this boss battle, it's, ugh. Like, it's challenging, but then again, it's just like, Okumura, like, it just makes Okumura lazy. Like, okay, like, you know, you're built up to kind of be this really big CEO that pretty much, you know, uses, you know, the well-being of their employees for for gain and everything like that and stuff. Like, you don't care about the, yeah, you don't care about the well-being of your employees and everything. You don't care if they get sick. Or if they get hurt on the job or anything like that and stuff, you still make them work and everything like that and everything. Like, you know, you're built up to be this really big bad and then like, you know, you're the one that, you're supposedly the one that pretty much has started, like, suppo post, supposedly the one that's done the mental shutdowns and everything like that and stuff. But yeah, you're too lazy and yet you send out your goons to pretty much do your bidding and everything like that. Like it's, yeah. It's like, eh, but even then, like, it's still challenging and everything, because you gotta, you have to eliminate everybody all at once and everything. If not, pretty much, they'll just send out a, a replacement and everything like that and stuff, so yeah, um, and stuff, and pretty much, and freaking me again, you're attacking me again? God damn it. <laughs> oh boy, now you gave somebody a quota. Um, what I was gonna say, like... It's still pretty challenging, I will say. And I have to use it. I, I have to freaking, yeah. I have to resort to pretty much using that move and everything. I don't want to, but yeah, we I had no choice. I kind of had my back against the wall there and stuff. So, yeah. But anyway, um, um, yeah, I don't know. Like, this, this, like, this, this, is, this probably is, like, I uh, first time playing it. Like, try playing this one in, like, vanilla Persona 5. Like, it, it's... The, the challenge is definitely there and everything like that. So, yeah. There's still the per, the DLC Personas and everything, but I didn't use them. Like, it took me a while, but, you know, I... Yeah, it, it, it was definitely... It's definitely a challenge, I will say. Um, and stuff, so, yeah. But anyway, here we go. I think this is probably the last uh, one we got to deal with and everything like that. So yeah, the the, the execu bot, execu robo bot. 
Yeah. Oh, one more time. One more time. Nice. Goodbye. Mm-hmm. Oh. Nobody. You're all alone now, Okumura. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, shoot. He's gonna send out his own daughter. But luckily this is just a cognitive version. She turned into a robot. My father sees me. Nothing more than a puppet that dances when ordered. This is for my father's sake. Alright, now this is pretty much an exclusive to uh, Persona 5 Royal, is where you actually do face off against um, a Shadow Haru and everything cognitive version Haru and everything like that and stuff. So mm, you know what, let's actually heal up. I uh, luckily he does have a move uh Thing where he could heal up and everything like that so yeah let's go ahead and do that let's let's do this the easy way yeah um i think she might be weakness to i don't think she has any weaknesses does she i don't know but anyway let's go ahead and do this ah jesus all right you know what yeah let's do it Nice. We gotta eliminate them. You know, we got 18 minutes. Like, we 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 definitely got this and everything like that and stuff. Of course, when the timer goes down, when the timer runs to zero, pretty much everything blows up and mission fail. We gotta pretty much do the whole battle again and everything like that. So yeah, that pretty much what it is um, and stuff. Oh boy. No way. Okumura's even willing to sacrifice his own daughter. This man is just Everyone, man heartless. All I gotta say. No I know we steal the heart, but this man is just heartless. Alright, we gotta eliminate we gotta eliminate cognitive version Haru before she even explodes. There we go. Now he's all alone. You have no employees left, buddy. The shame of you, too. The way you treat your employees, even your own daughter. Like, come on. Get him, Mona. And with that, Shadow Konikazu Akumura is defeated. The Spaceport of Greed has been completed. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> Again, I try to word that a little bit better and everything like that. But pretty much Spaceport of Greed has been completed. It's over, everybody. We have defeated Shadow Kumara. We have stole. We have hopefully changed his heart and everything like that. It's all over and everything like that. So, yeah. I, I try to word that a little bit better. I guess the execution just eh. But eh, it's been a while. It, it definitely has been a while. But we finally got it, everybody. Yep, we definitely did. Yes. <coughs> oh, man. Man, oh, man. Yeah, definitely uh, definitely one of the more challenging, um, you know, boss battles in the game and everything like that. I will say, um, again, you could do it three times. You could do it in the normal way. Um, and I will applaud you if you do that and everything. Um, uh, definitely, if you want to do the easy way, definitely pull out uh, Insanagio Kami Picaro um, and use pretty much Myriad Trues and everything. Trust me, I'm not going to be doing that throughout the whole playthrough um, and stuff. Trust me. Trust me, trust me. I only, the only reason I brought it out is to pretty much, um, you know, kind of show off, like, you know, the easy way. But pretty much the, if you want to, the more challenging way, you could pretty much set to the hardest difficulty of the game 
and pretty much it will double the damage which is a good thing and everything like that but still it's pretty challenging i will say and everything like that so yeah what requests, requests. No, a mysterious criminal in people's palaces after all so it's true what kind of contract did you form and with whom <laughs> come on stop crying and tell us Warning. oh Damn. shit why now mr ceo can't you stop that thing oh well we can't just throw our lives away like this look up there hmm oh this treasure Taking your treasure. Huh? There's one more thing you need to tell us. Have you seen this criminal's face before? Warning. We don't got damage. time to get that out of him. We'll just have to inquire about it back in the real world. Damn. Damn it, Peter. dude. Shouldn't we bring father with us? Don't worry, he'll be fine. We'll end up dead if we're not out of here soon, though. Only you can follow through on your own responsibilities. That is what you've taught me, Father. Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. Will we make it? Probably not. Actually, I think it's impossible. We're counting on you, Mona. Get out of here. Four, three, two, one. Goodbye. Still pounding. Oh man, we freaking got out of that one. <laughs> you know, Morgana, you seemed almost normal when you took the treasure. Oh, the truth behind the mental shutdowns remains unsolved, though. Okumura wasn't the culprit. Unfortunately, Still, he did mention requesting people to be eliminated. He has to know who's responsible. Hmm. Mom. Is this his treasure was a plastic model kit? What's the matter? I remember father telling me something before he changed. He said there was a model kit he really wanted back when he was a child. But no matter how much he begged my grandfather, he never got it. Hmm. The family could get like a thousand of those kits though. Okumura Foods has been around for generations, but it was a small company until my father took over. My grandfather was a good man, but not the best businessman. He'd even lend money with no collateral. It seems the debt collectors wow. were a frequent presence when my father was young. Well, that must be why. Why Okumura was so willing to pursue his own happiness at the expense of others. Whoa! This thing's insane! It is a staggering price. I've heard this can happen to collector's items, but still. Yep, sounds sounds about right when it comes to those type of things, figures and rare model kits and everything like that. Yeah. Yep, they can be pretty pricey. We'll surely be able to find out who's behind the mental shutdowns. Yes, exactly as you planned, sir. Everything. From the phantom thieves targeting Okumura, to them changing his heart. We've lost a convenient source of income. 
but I'd rather not risk his connection coming to light. Okumura was not fit for the political world to begin with. He should have just behaved himself. Of course, without fail, sir. I've requested that he handle the matter. Arrangements have been made. A sudden mental shutdown will occur at just the right time. We'll dispose of our disappointing connection and the Phantom Thieves at once. Two birds with one stone. <laughs> I've actually been thinking a bit about my actions this time. I was way too worried about who I am and how I don't compare to the other members of our group. Mm -hmm. out I just don't have any guts, huh? It happens to everyone, dude. It's really, it's okay. Thanks. I think the reason I was so hung up on wanting to be human is because I needed a goal of my own. Well, not a goal per se, but something bigger. I guess more like a reason to live. Mm -hmm. But now that I'm sure I belong with the Phantom Thieves, I know what I want to do. Do you know what it is? Um. Uh... Uh, she's I don't know um, get get your own room <laughs> I'm going to do whatever I can to make sure the phantom thieves succeed in other words our goals are in alignment from now on I'm not going to hold anything back you better put some effort in too don't make me regret my choice definitely won't I feel like my bomb Morgana is growing even deeper and with that, we have reached rank 9 in the Magician Arcana. We have a new ability called Protect. Chance to shield Joker from an otherwise fatal attack. Yes. Just need one more. And then it pretty much will awaken to his, uh, his true self and everything like that. Plus, I want Lady on to be oh happy. boy. Here we go My again. Sipping over on. <laughs> That's more than enough for me. Hope you're not thinking about how sappy all of this is. Well then. Oh man, what a day. Freaking finally freaking gone through the spaceport of greed and everything like that. And pretty much changed the heart of Okunikazu Kumura and everything. And now we just pretty much got to play the waiting game. Uh, to see if he actually does have a change of heart and admits to his crimes and everything like that. And hopefully we get some, sh some shed some light in the uh, whole um, uh, psychotic breakdowns and everything like that. So yeah. But anyway everybody. That'll pretty much do it for this episode. Hopefully you enjoyed it and... Hopefully everyone found that helpful um, in terms of like, you know, getting stuck in the boss battle and everything like that. But yeah, um, yeah, hopefully everyone found it helpful. All right. But anyway, that pretty much does it, everybody. This has been Mr. Pills X saying good night, good morning, good day, whatever time you guys are watching this video. And I will see you guys on the next one for we now play the waiting game. And we'll pretty much build up on more uh, on our social stats. Uh, you, I mean, you, uh, you know what I mean.